one of the routines here is of course to fill the water tank it's empty now so here's what we are dealing with oh just grab the shovel and go i guess A little bit of slush slash ice forming here so the first thing that we need to do is to find the actual spot for the water hill and it's somewhere here on the forehead deck we have it Now we need to get the water hoses and that is the bigger job. Need to go over to our neighboring boat Beer here and uh, she is very very snowy. <laughs> Now we have the water hose and then we need to find the water outlet and that is a little bit problematic because it's somewhere there on the field under the snow. Uh, can't really remember exactly and it's funny here you almost can't see that uh, we are at a dock because the snow is just filling the space in between. We don't have proper connectors for this hose, so this is my great duct tape trick. Well, I just got completely wet, only to realize one thing. The hoses were stored outside and there's some leftover water in them. So this one is probably full of ice and uh, it's blocked and the other extension hose is probably the same so the only option is uh, I have to abort the mission for today I have to put these hoses inside to melt them and uh, try again tomorrow it was a good try though at least we got to enjoy the weather of course I have to do all of this stuff when it's uh snowing and stormy All storms finally come to an end. This is how it is in life and also surprisingly enough how it is in Iceland as well, even though with the constant wind blowing it sometimes does not feel like it. Then the big fishing trawlers resume their work and soon come back to the dock to unload their catch. Here the fishing season continues throughout the whole year although the smaller boats don't really go out during the worst of the winter. And when the storm is over, we are also back to doing our two favorite activities. The first one you are already familiar with. It's 
snow shoveling a fun but totally pointless activity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but for today we have a way. We have a nice path that is going to get uh, blown shut the next night. And the second one is of course skiing. First time that it's actually sunny the whole winter because during the heart of the winter the sun doesn't rise above the mountains so especially in the valley we are always in the shade and we haven't really seen the sun except now I'm here and it's uh, such a nice weather otherwise as well the snow is complete crap though but I just want to go up the mountain somewhere over there and uh, I want to see the sea I want to get a good look of the ocean and uh, that's the plan for the day let's get up on this ridge here and then we should finally see the ocean wow wow that is cool haven't seen it that calm in like three or four months So some of you might know that I'm helping a little bit with this uh, research project called Secrets of the Snow and normally I'm digging snow pits and uh, snow profiles and then uh, recording the data from them and sending them to the real researchers who then do the actual job but what we are interested in in the project is these kind of ice layers that you can see here so these kind of ice layers, they form during the winter when it rains on the snow or when it's like really warm and what it causes then is that it's impossible for the animals to get through the snow to access the ground for food and also they can't dig through, small animals can't dig through the snow anymore to just to use the snow as, as their cover so you know, normally I would be digging snow profiles, but here it's evident at this wind swept spot that the ground is covered by this layer of ice. And this layer here is the layer that formed in the beginning of um, December approximately. In the beginning of the winter when we had a bit of snow already and then it just rained for one week straight. And it rained way up high as well, you know, we are at 600 meters above the sea level and uh, it's just this ice layer is here everywhere, everywhere where there had been snow at that time, we now have a thick layer of ice. It's just bulletproof, you know. The reason that we can actually see the ice here is that this spot is so windswept that uh, the snow hasn't really accumulated here since December. But when I go further down or when I go to a more wind protected spot and if I dig, I'm gonna first find um, some softer snow from the recent snowfalls and then I will find the ice layer 
the same ice layer. It's just hidden in the snowpack. Actually, currently we have two ice layers, pretty thick ones from two separate rain events. This kind of stuff is unfortunately probably becoming more and more common with the climate change. But uh, yeah, just trying to do our small part and help a little bit with the research. It hit the mountainside pretty hard. I'm just trying to find it now. Fuck. I normally never use the automatic flying and tracking functions on the on the drone, but this time I did, and I think it hit the mountainside pretty hard. Right over here. <laughs> it might still be at least somewhat alive. I'm really glad that at least I was able to um, get my trash off the mountain. Bit of a shame about the drone, but that's just uh, part of the job, I guess. Check out these views though. Whoa! Pretty cool. Let's go. Let's get some crap, crap, snow. The skiing wasn't great, but at least I got to enjoy the views and get some exercise. A little bit further down the mountain, I dug a snow pit for the research project that I was talking about earlier. I hope you enjoyed this small sneak peek into our life here, while we are waiting for some spare parts for Arctica. If you want to support the creation of these videos, you can join our support crew on Patreon. Thanks for watching and see you all next time. Bye bye.